Welcome to the series of all the pains in developing Candy Front. No, sorry, all the joys of developing Candy Front. So recently, I've been looking at shooters, and it's one thing they all have. Guns. Well, it's kind of in the name, because how else do you shoot? With a sword? Probably guns. First, I started off by working on the gun pickup. The gun pickup uses arrays and stores the information of your weapons in an array. It also makes the gun you just picked up appear. Because I hate weapon switching. The weapon I just picked up. And weapon switching doesn't exist yet, so let's get to work on that. With the arrays I used last time, this made weapon switching a lot easier. I was flying high like the pigs you saw just now out of your window, until my mortal enemy came. Class references. Wait. Who put that in the script? I finally figured it out, and guess how you implement it? Use U class. Everything begins with a U in Unreal Engine. U property, U function, U class. Ah! Actually, in a few years' time, mark my words, Unreal Engine will be U engine. Forget that. I am totally unhappy with classes and references now. Definitely do not think that Unreal Engine's documentation needs an upgrade. Then I worked on a hit scan gun. And for your information, hit scan is scanning a hit. Oh. And it was more pain when I found out that not only the hit scan gun that I did in single player entirely broke in multiplayer, that I was also shooting myself in multiplayer. Guess what the problem was? Apparently, there's these things called replicated variables, which when the only way to get change from them on the server to the client is by calling them replicate. Thanks Unreal for not putting this in your documentation. If you're enjoying this video, omit it. I know you are. Please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Or else. devlog as a bonus i decided to implement a new map because the old map was looking a bit old so i came up with some ideas this map i'll say is very unique it offers small space close gameplay and you can exit the, each room by four to five different chambers the doors they're going to take you to a random room so you can, in theory, go back to the same room that you came in. The map is called Cave Chambers. Obviously, this is just experimental, and if you have any suggestions, please comment below. I've attached some montages of this process. So, if you want to support me further by uh, helping my view time and just see how the development of Cave Chambers was, watch the montage then, I guess. But anyways, that's all for this devlog. Remember, if you liked it, Smash like for more and smash subscribe for more series like this.